Our series, A More Perfect Union, highlights how the things we have in common far outweigh our differences. Today, we look at the power of the written word. Common core standards no longer require students to learn cursive, but supporters of longhand writing refuse to let it die. 11 states either require or encourage the teaching of cursive in public schools. And since 2017, a total of 10 states have considered legislation to add cursive writing to the curriculum. Omar Villafranca visited a school in Dallas to see how loops and tails are connecting people in a digital world. This is the end of the thought. These third graders at Good Shepherd Episcopal in Dallas are learning a lost art. They're practicing cursive by writing letters to their pen pals. My third grade teacher taught me cursive writing. It's almost a foreign language for today's younger generation. It used to hurt my hand a lot, but now I got used to it. Hard to read and harder to write. Tim Mallard's daughter is in the class. Wouldn't it be fun for the children to begin to learn how to read letters and perhaps get the thrill of getting a real letter in the mail? The first thing we're going to do is look at the letter that is up on the screen. It he came up with the pen pal idea and shared it with her teacher, Karen Gunter. You got a letter today. Another one? You got another one. After he sent a letter in cursive to his daughter away at camp, and she couldn't read a word he had written. So she was mad at me. Well, why are you mad at me? Well, your letter. And I'm thinking, I didn't say anything bad in the letter. No, you wrote it in that funny writing. Mallet oversees several retirement homes and knows a lot of people who still use that funny writing. So he helped pair up students with several seniors, like 75-year-old Sue Stanley. It's difficult for me to, to do text and emails, um, or text anyway, because there's so many shortened, abbreviated things that I don't know what they are. <laughs> I don't, know. don't forget the dates at the top of your pages, please. Sue was matched up with nine-year-old Samantha Mosley, and the pair instantly hit it off on paper. I feel like I'm actually talking to her. This has made me like like to write a lot more. This is excellent, excellent penmanship. Third grade teacher Karen Gunter says the cursive lesson also allows her to teach grammar along with the mechanics of writing. What does a capital D look like? And it's one of the only times she knows the students are paying attention. When we're writing the letters, they are quiet. But during other times in class? Oh, no, they, it's mayhem. some of them never shut up. <laughs> 80-year-old retired writer Nancy Miller was worried she wouldn't have anything to talk about with her nine-year-old pen pal, Ahan Jane. And in the very first paragraph or two, he says, I'm a Dallas Cowboys fan, and my favorite player is Des Bryant. And I thought, wow, we have a connection right away. <laughs> Turns out, Nancy and Ahan both have strong opinions on their beloved Dallas Cowboys. So what are you writing to her about now? Brandon Marshall got cut, and now Dez is going to sign with the Giants. Is this better than text messaging? Is this better yes. than emails? Yes. How come? Because in text messaging, you don't have a visual of the person, but in letters you do. <laughs> After a few months exchanging letters, the students finally got a chance to meet their cursive correspondent. Oh, I'm so glad to meet you. Sue and Samantha are now more than pen pals. Oh, she's just flamboyant. She's a pistol. She's <laughs> you have beautiful blue eyes. It was wonderful to meet her. Just wonderful. I got to meet someone new and not just writing to them in short letters and stuff. I actually got a friendship with her. In a world of constant emails, texts, and direct messages, the kids say there's nothing like that funny writing to help keep friends connected. For CBS This Morning, Omar Villafranca, Dallas. Oh, I love that story. Yeah, Omar Villafranca. I know. There's a lot about the cursive, but I also think there's just a lot about the letter writing. Yes. You know what I mean? Sure. The last time when... You know, think about Barbara Bush passing and all the letters mm -hmm. that were exchanged between her and George H.W. Bush. Beautiful, thoughtful love letters. Right. On many levels, I like that story for the letter writing that you said and just the beauty of cursive writing and yeah. what the little boy said gives you the visuals of the person. With yeah. a text message, you don't have that. It you always write in cursive on your notes. So to, yeah. It has to be deliberate and intentional, which is not a bad thing to be in our rushed Very world. Nice.